from 2014, I, I have been, uh, you know, sensitizing people in urban space and in the rural space also regarding how to retain uh, the bee colonies when they come to your space. So, in my experience, when they come to uh, the urban space, they behave differently because they can get to see you. Uh, so many colors, they are color blind, but still they will be able to uh, observe so many variables in the colors, patterns and the movements they don't have the ability to hear but but they can sense the vibrations with their uh, special uh, you know some organs in their in their legs and their uh, antennas uh, they have the very good ability for uh, you know receptivity of uh, many kinds of smells and aroma and everything but here in urban space they get to see all these smells that they can sense you know, from frying masala to, you know, uh, fabric softener in, in the cloth, you wearing the perfume, body spray, and, and pets, and also movements, smoke from vehicles, and so many other things. After that, they get to know that these things are not threatening for them, and they will start to make their colony. Then, the, then they will build the hive with the wax. And when the hive looks bigger, then people will call uh, and they usually call pest control companies. And unfortunately in India, um, you know, these are listed in the, in the pest control companies' websites and they are considered as pests. So uh, anyone can do anything to the beehive and people call them and they come immediately, they spray poison. And that is how it is being dealt in urban space.